In this video presentation, we're looking at layer 5 of the OSI model, the session layer. Now, the session layer defines how to start, control, and end conversations, called sessions. This includes the control and the management of multiple bidirectional messages using dialog control. It also synchronizes dialog between two host presentation layers and manages their data exchange. And the session layer offers provisions for efficient data transfer. Now, the session layer is part of the upper three layers of the OSI model, and these are often referred to as the upper layers. And these layers are responsible for applications communicating between hosts. They know nothing about networking or network addressing. And this is where we establish, we synchronize, maintain, and when we're all done, we disconnect from a communication link. This is where this happens at. So anytime two stations on a network connect, it's the session layer that establishes, synchronizes, and maintains that connection. Some examples of this would be you're logging on to a network and you're going to stay connected until you log out. The session layer ensures that this happens. You transfer a file between two machines. You're using the session layer. Name to station address translation, also done at the session layer. Now data streams received from lower layers are put into sessions here at the session layer. Now the primary protocols that work down here are DNS, LDAP, NetBIOS, and the Apple protocols such as ASP, ADSP. There's also ZIP, PAP. We also have RPC, the networking file system, NFS, also SQL. Those are all important protocols that reside at this layer of the OSI model, the session layer. Now when we talk about communication, we also have to talk about the different types of transmission modes that work here at the session layer. And there are three basic transmission modes. You've got simplex communications, only allows data to flow in one direction. Half duplex communication, two-way data flow, but only one at a time. And then we have the preferred, which is the full duplex communications, two-way data flow simultaneously. Now, some facts and requirements you need to know about full duplex operations. And if you was to see this again, you'd have to know this. Full duplex operations requires full duplex NIC cards. Loopback and collision detection must be disabled in the NIC card. The NIC card, the NIC card device driver must support simultaneous transmission and receiving of information. And full duplex circuits are capable of 10 megabit, 100 megabit, and gigabit Ethernet data speeds. So all that happens up here at the session layer. Again, another very important layer of the OSI model. But remember that it's part of the gang of three referred to as the upper layers. And remember that they know nothing about anything to do with networking or network addressing. But the important thing you must remember about the session layer is that it establishes, provides synchronization, and it maintains, and it will disconnect a communication link when it's no longer needed between two stations on a network. Now in our next video, we're going to be taking a look at the presentation layer, and we'll look at what happens there.